Hello, I am Patricia McNeely. I am an illumined Blu-ray twin flame from Chicago, Illinois. And today is November 12th. It's the day after 11-11. I hope everyone is doing well. The purpose of my video here is it was really inspired by a very dear person in the northern part of England. And uh, first, let me say thank you to everyone who bought my webinar. Thank you to everyone I've had a session with. And let me tell you, it's been amazing. It's been such a pleasure to meet some of you and to get to know you and to really know how all of this is going forward. I want to commend everyone on your abilities to stick the course. Okay, I know for a lot of you, it's almost felt like there's no choice. And there's reasons for that. For some of you who've, who've maybe made choices, I hope you come back because we need everybody. All right, we need everybody. So I've had several reminders over the past two months, probably starting from the Mercury retrograde, and I'll talk about that. So the first thing I want to ask everyone, how many people have felt like they need a magic eight ball to find out what's happening in their union? Ooh, magic eight ball is my twin flame coming for me. And you know what? This magic eight ball, it's old. It can only give one sentence answers. The liquid in it is evaporating out. And I felt like this is very symbolic of what a lot of people are trying to do. And it's natural. You know, when you're in linear time, it will be singular answers. When you're in the expansion that we're in, uh, that is some of the stuff that I'm gonna talk about here. And so let me tell you this also. I used this card, it came in the mail, and it was actually from a plumbing outfit. This was um, emergency plumbing, sewer repair, <laughs> which I also felt indicative of the infrastructure of everything that we've once had, uh, all of the systems, everything that we've dealt with. And this, the front of it said, get out of jail. How many people are in a prison of their own making or realizing they're the only ones keeping themselves in a prison? A lot of people. And sometimes you really don't have a choice yet. But the more we keep expanding, certain doors are opening and other doors are very firmly closing. Now, one of the other things I want to talk about is, you know, I have people that they meet their twin or they talk to their twin and your dear, he, he, he or she may as well be a deer in the headlight. You know, doo -doo -doo, they're looking at you or they look, they have fear. They have fear. And how do you get rid of the fear? So one of the things to know, um, this is the paradigm shift is here. The new paradigm is here, it's upon you. And unlike in human ways, in the human world, we believe it when we see it, um, we'll do it when it's ready for it, we'll fix it when it's broken, we won't change a thing unless it really, really pushes us to. And that's human level living. That's also living in 3D karma. Now, I loved what my person in England said. She called it, it feels like we're treading water. And there it is. How many people since the Mercury retrograde in September and then moving along through things have felt a distinct disconnect? And you, or you feel like you're dangling between two places. You feel like it. You can feel it. It may not actually be showing up in your reality, but it's such a feeling. And it's letting people feel anxious, fearful. This is what is actually happening to a lot of twin flames, especially the counterparts that you've been 
waiting for, expecting, or the part of your counterpart you've been waiting and expecting. So one of the things um, with all of people hear about portals and watery energy and love and the love is coming through. I want to give you a context. The context that I give you, while it is sort of a, a rather silly type of illustration, what I want to let you know is it's a very simplistic way of depicting what is happening when portals get opened. So a lot of people say, I don't know, portal open, nothing happened. But they're not going and tuning in or relating it to their union. And you may be on one end and your twin flame may be the one experiencing things. And this is where I will encourage everyone, stay out of the mental body and hold steady. I said that in September, a lot of people didn't. You still engaged with the mental somehow, some way. And the only way that you're going to do this is by holding steady and calm and getting yourself calm. So let's talk about it. Let's talk about the treading water. And you've taken only the essentials with you because you don't need everything that you had in your prison. You know, whether or not that prison was marriage, whether or not that prison is a job, a geographic location, a house, whatever old, derelict, decrepit place, thing, situation, people around you, toxicity, you can take only your essentials, take the best of the best, discard the rest, and, and that includes the astral plane. I talked quite a bit about this in my recent webinar. The 3D karma, leaving the last bits of it behind, how do you do it? And even going back to January, talk about it in the how to conclude the universal karma and your other parts of karma. A lot of you've done it. Now you're treading water and you're saying, now, hang on a minute. What gives here? I'm feeling dangly. I'm feeling floaty. Uh, I don't have a leg to stand on. Something's ripped the rug right out from under me. And it's I'm feeling a bit buffeted about here. And other people may have a lovely experience of the 1111. If a lot of you are finishing and concluding things, you may find it a bit turbulent and bumpy. You may find the waters choppy, but this is what's happening. Let me show you. All right. So here's you or your twin flame. All right. There's you or your twin flame. And here's you in 3D. There you are. Some of you have hit the bottom. Some of you have come up a bit. And what is happening is... When these portals open, the love, which is watery, raises you up very naturally. You have to throw your ballast off. You have to decide only what's essential. It's going to be different for different people. It may be children. It may be the home. It may be things that you absolutely need. And for a lot of you, you're going to find that this watery energy, that there's barnacles stuck to you. Look at those. Look at those icky, scrapey barnacles, all of this crust stuck on you. Oh. And on the other side, on the inside, beautiful mother of pearl on the inside. Guess what you got on the inside? You got everything on the inside. Get the crusty barnacles off. Oh. How would this ever get off, okay? Whatever this organism is, this little mollusk, it lived and died with the things sticking to it, the parasites or anything that maybe kept it tethered to one spot. Maybe it liked that. Maybe in a storm, it was a place of safety. Everyone likes to have a safe zone in turbulence, okay? You have to trust in love. If you're trusting in another uh, person, like 
a spouse, a kid, a parent, um, people at your job, your boss, the government, okay? What I will say to you is they are still human. They will fail to a degree. You're trusting in love and you're trusting in high rescue because you're not going to bob in the water here like this. You have to do what you can. You're the only one who can actually throw away the things that don't serve you, that are tethering you, that are bogging you down so that you can get to the new life, which is the new paradigm and your divine marriage. Your divine marriage exists, period. It exists. You're also continuing to clear. Even people that are together are clearing out some of the last residue and crusty stuff off. Some people may be turning a blind eye to all the crust and the barnacles, but it doesn't have to be that way. You actually have tools. I have tools. I have exercises in my webinar. Whoever is helping you heal, please know those healers are great. They're fabulous. I do twin flame healing. I do cosmic body reconnection. A lot of you may not know about this, but because people are saying, who's Patricia McNeely? Um, you know, I talk a lot about the metaphysical parts of things. But going back to 2009, I was running twin flame workshops in my area. I used to advertise this on a um, just a piece of paper at the local cafe. For Americans, that would be the Starbucks cafe. And I would have people show up. And I used to help them with a heart activation where I would place a hand on them and I could hear the things as they would go. And I would hear things like, please don't leave me here. 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 Leave me here. Deep abandonment. I would hear things like, no, 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 with such terror. It used to throw me, but I held steady in it because I was simply helping to transmute this. The person themselves was usually very calm and steady and just simply receiving. So I was almost like a human acupuncture needle. That's what happens sometimes with your healings is that your healer whether that's me or someone else, has some of the means to get this gone. They're not going to keep it gone. There's where in the thing lies. Who can guarantee you that your twin is coming to you? It's you. It's you. I don't care who you go to. And if they're saying things to you that don't click with your heart, if they're saying things like, well, it's not for this lifetime, and that doesn't feel right, or they're saying, well, they're in this culture and you're in this culture and, you know, you can't break up this culture. Guess what breaks up everything that's old and decrepit and distorted? It's love. Like here in this country, we have a really good example of, you know, everything that we've um, brought in here. We are a, a big mix of all different kinds of cultures and there's growing pains there really are there are all kinds of growing pains but one of the really big things has been racial equality and people believed it in their heart until it became a reality it's still not strictly enforced some of that's very hidden the hidden subversive things are what come out during these portals where everything will float to the top and rise to the top the very things that rises to the top is the best in everyone. And that heart that says, you know what? I'm just not going to treat that person. Or I think I'll be open about that. I think I'll have an open mind. Maybe I won't judge for today. Maybe I, I just, you know, it's a terrible thing to be judged. It's a terrible thing to not be allowed to make amends and say sorry and have forgiveness come. It's a terrible thing to maybe not be able to move forward because those old things are holding you from the mental and the emotional body. And a lot of us have friends. We may have one friend who, um, you know, maybe that friend is gay. Maybe that friend is of a different race or a different religion. 
I myself have happened to have lots of friends from different cultures, religions, races, and um, ethnic backgrounds. And our common ground is that we have fun together. You know, that is that is the thing. It's where do you find your common ground with your friends? Because you're not going to find it in your differences. You're going to find it in the heart. It's always that way. Always, always, always. This is part of your new life. It's you taking chances. It's you taking a risk. It's you chancing that that person is going to match your heart. Now, for twin flames, and this is where the kicker is, your twin flame is intended to be your best friend. If you've met, even if you haven't met and you're dreaming and you know and you just know and you've seen glimpses or you know that person's there, the intention is for you to be with them, okay? The other part of it, like I always say, it's timing. It's whether or not you accelerate and get yourself through this watery energy as fast as you can, cut away, throw away, conclude, break, burn. Around this time last year, I had this constant smell of burning wood in my nose, and there was no wood around me burning, but I realized it's the smell of burning bridges. You're burning any bridge back to the old, all right? And the astral plane as well. I got to make a note about this. Get rid of any false guards, guides, okay? If there's, if there's thingies talking to you from the astral plane, if there's an astral version of something, you have to feel in your heart if it feels authentic. There's a difference between a twin who hasn't met you and something from the astral plane. These are things that you're going to continue to clear because you're clearing physical 3D earth stuff and you're clearing out this. Now, if you don't know what to do because your emotional body your emotions have been held here. You've been, um, and of course, it's a diminished form. Oh, why do these pens never work when I want them to? Okay. Oh, geez. It's been emotions and mental. Okay. All right. Now, mental beliefs. What are some mental beliefs? And I've used this example in a few um, sessions. How about the earth is flat? A lot of people believe that for hundreds of years, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. Okay, it's been disproven as not fact. Okay, not factual. You are dealing with truth and factual information. All right, you're also, you're here to express love. So some of the things that you may find absolutely, I can't believe my twin thinks that. If it's just a mental belief, that's what you're having go. I have an exercise in my most recent video that I call um, clear the emotional body. I have another one that goes back, clear your love bubble. How do you get all the people that have been hanging on in 3D to get off of your union get off of our union get off get out it's not going to be through anger all right it's taking movements one of the very first things is to have gratitude an attitude of gratitude goes a really long way very very much long way gratitude willingness of the heart your knowledge won't come in unless you are willing. It is movement. That means taking actions where you see to. It is safe places. Safety. If at all, in karma in 3D, you cannot discern between true safety and surviving. There's, there's sometimes people's lives where they don't feel safe and yet they feel that it's the only way to survive. 
the very first thing to do is go within. And you are asking for the connections of your higher self, not any other entity. We're all at the point where this in-between state, get away from the astral plane that's not going to serve you to get up to where you belong. The fifth dimension is an actual place. Okay, so for some people, oh, where is the next thing that I want to tell you? Your twin flame, even if you perceive that they don't get it and you say, well, I've done this, I've done that, and they just don't get it, guess what? They've had to have a protection on them. Maybe they can't even see. They can't see. They're protected. They've been having to do this for a really, really, really long time. Really, really. And you know what? They're tired. They're about to take it off. They're taking off some of the shields that they've had in place so that they could function. You know, you're getting ready to put, get all of your sparkly senses back where they belong. And yeah, a lot of the clearing out of the old, it'll probably show up as weirdnesses. You know, this is space madness. This is this is um, making some people feel crazy because they'll say, this happened with my body, but this, this, what does it have to do with? I feel it's like this. Don't doubt your own feelings. If you're having things happen with your body, and I talk about that in my May, June, and July webinars. The things with your body, because I've made it very concise, I have nutritional support in there, and I also have um, exercises in there. So it's nutritional support, what to do, what do you do to get through it. Anxiousness, that's going to be heart, and that's going to be the adrenal glands. And again, I packed that into the webinar for June and July. Now, when it comes to, you know, you got one twin who's here, you got the twin flame who's here, and you got, you know, the real authentic, and how do you do that? And you're going towards the real authentic, okay? That's what you're doing. So, what I want to encourage you with is that Every single one of these portals serves a purpose. I mean, things are flooding in to wash things out of you. Have any of you ever had a flood in your house? I've been through several floods. It was There was one at one place I worked at when I was much younger, another place I worked at. And, you know, the cleanup after a flood, it's never fun or storm or anything like that. There's always cleanup. There's always fallout, okay? And, and yet, this is, this is a storm of leaving 3D. You still have to clean up. Some of you, you're the only ones that can clean up your own messes. How about another belief? All right. A lot of people are believing that, um, you know, they may never have certain things again. That happens a lot with the twin that is in, you know, perceived as being in 3D. You know, like, they'll never be able to get drunk again. They'll never be able to go out with the guys. They'll never be able to um, go shopping with their girls. They'll never be as best friends with their twin flame, and they still need hordes of people around the union. That's not the truth. You are actually shifting into a new paradigm where you have everything with your twin, and it's how do you relate to all, everything. Everything that's outside your union, whether it's people, you know, family, organizations. Um, what do you do when one of you has a food allergy and the other one doesn't? Have you ever been diagnosed as having a sensitivity to something and you're kind of like, well, I'm not really sensitive to that. Maybe it's your twin flame. Okay, and some of you are going to find this out as you move along here. Keep moving along. Keep moving. Safe places. It's up to you to make several safe places for yourself. Your own abode has to be safe. 
there has to be a place you can walk to that's safe. And if you don't know how to do that, um, my, I, I think it was my July or September, the one with the grid work, doing the grid work where you make things safe, you make a place safe. And I highly recommend a park. You're not going to go to, like I've been going to the Department of Motor Vehicles. I'm a Blu-ray, so some of the places that I get prompted for my higher self to go to, it's just sort of like, really? Really, that's what we're doing today? Yes, that's what we're doing today. Put everything else on hold. It's the time for it, okay? I don't know that there's anyone else that's explaining in you know, a simplistic way on how to do it. Maybe they, maybe there are, I don't know. Some of you will innately know. And for those of you that you don't know, um, I do have the material available. So as we're going into this new life and this new paradigm, I just want to talk about a couple other things because back in September, just before the Mercury retrograde, I did my best to prepare some of you of what to expect. And again, because we're human, everyone experience with this, I can't possibly cover every little thing. But one of the things I talked about was departures. Well, what does this look like? This looks like a departure from karmic 3D. It's also a departure from the astral plane. Um, we had uh, a death in the family. I had several people reach out and say, we've had a death really close to my union. Um, there were other people that um, died out in the world. Recently, I'm very sorry about this. There was an entire plane full of people. Um, this has happened several times. And while we don't wish it, we miss each other on both sides of this veil. There have been many times um, when I had strong, when I had connections to my guides, and I would say, "What do you want from me?" and they said, "Would say, we want you to come home. We want you to come home. Everyone wants us to come home. You're here because you're a master. You're not here because you're not doing this." So, what did some people do with that uh, when I talked about departures? Well, some people did depart. They were like, "Bye now. Bye. Bye now. See you." Um, other people uh, were able to feel confident and move into their own stuff that they know they're here to bring. I'm going to talk about some other things, too, about departures. Sometimes it means an abrupt loss of a job or a loss of something. And people will feel grief. What do you do with the grieving? Again, this is the emotional body. How do you alleviate the grief, the sadness, the despair? Some people would like their solution for some of this to be suicide. And suicide's not a solution. But I'll tell you why. Because suicide takes you from the astral plane and all you do is loop back and forth. It's not going to get you to the fifth dimension. You still have to address your things. If people truly feel suicidal... And this has happened with a lot of especially Blu-ray Twin Flames. A lot of people have felt at some point, you know what, I may as well just exit or everything is so heavy. I'm in the doldrums of despair and I can't feel my way out. You just get down to the essentials and the basics. You take good care of yourself and you continue treading the water. That's what you can do. You get, seek the help at a hospital that you need to. Now, in terms of, you know, departures, you probably will find that other people and you have some isolation. This looks pretty isolated, doesn't it? I mean, this could be somebody swimming a channel here. It's isolated. You're doing it by yourself or you feel like it's by yourself. Your perception, it's by yourself. Focus on your heart communication. We're leaving telepathy. It's heart now. It really is heart. And you will leave people behind. Some people have left themselves behind. Some people are so stuck in the mental body that they're there. And you have to leave them there. They're not going to understand. 
Wish them well and move on. They're not going to get it. Don't let them hinder you. You know, when some of this stuff started happening for me, I got really tired of trying to explain to people what it is I do. And I finally started telling the truth. And I had people now at the grocery store, they ask me things. They ask me twin flamey stuff. I had someone come out to fix my roof, talk about watery. I had to get the leaky roof, the leaky ceiling fixed before winter. And the man said, oh, you work from home. How are you? You know, what do you do? And to kind of put it in a nutshell, I said, I do energy sessions with people. And he said, oh, what's that? What is that? I said, well, essentially, if people have had toxic stuff, I help them to move it. And I help give them tools through a session on how to move out of these things. And he said, oh. So that was one explanation. You know, if you are waiting for your twin flame, I encourage you, I highly encourage you, speak your truth to the people around you that God has shown you who your true love is, and you've seen the God that is in that person. You're the only one that's going to feel it. For everyone else, he's just going to be a guy or a girl. She will be a girl or he will be a guy, whoever it is. Now, I want to give one last bit of encouragement to people. There are a lot of people who have a, a twin flame situation where you're waiting for your twin to get out of a situation. Some of those people are gay people, lesbian people, transgendered people. And yes, I'm going to say it again. I've said it in several of my videos. Gay and lesbian and transgender twin flames do exist. There are people out there that are saying, no, it has to be in two bodies. Okay, there's a belief right there. If you're only believing that all of the connections aren't on the inside, even though the two bodies are the same, you're wrong. So other people will actually not always have your truth. If you know it, you know it, you know it. Stick with what you know. Know what you know. If you know, even if that person, well, some of you are waiting for some of this paradigm to shift so that your twin feels safe to leave a heterosexual marriage or stop dating the opposite sex and be with you. There are things that need to move into place. We In this country, we've just moved in uh, uni or approved across the country legal marriage, which gives you the, the true support that you need, making the safety. In other countries, there are still changes that need to take place. And this is waving throughout the world where we make things safe. We're making healthcare safe, legal systems safe, the government safe, the military safe, even while they're still fighting. And I don't personally approve of it. But it, there's a fine line between protection and defense, and we're still in this transition right now. You know, it's everyone's going to have an opinion on it depending on their perspective. In my country where I'm at, I have one perspective. I may not be in another country, although I've seen a lot of stuff. We have all seen a lot of stuff over lifetimes. And that's one other thing to mention. As... The stuff that you've seen clears out of the retina and you have not been able to see everything that you've ever seen been burned down your retina. Some of you will feel like your eyes are clearing out. And that is something else I also talk about in my webinar. So to put it in a nutshell, I have this card that I found years ago, a couple years ago, but it says it so beautifully. It takes a long time to grow an old friend, and that is your twin, and your twin flame's always going to be worth waiting for. So thank you for watching. Hang in here. Keep going, and be steady. Bye now.